Okay, it is making this sound. Hello, everybody. Yeah, just to say, if you got that uh, screaming, squeaking, noisy dryer, it just is really bad. Uh, I've watched all the videos about the idler pulley and pulling the drum out and all this and that and pulling out the front and doing all this crazy stuff to change the idler pulley when if you uh you might just need this simple fix here which is what i did and it worked so uh, the hardest part about fixing this part might be getting it unhooked and taking the back off uh which isn't really that hard so get it uh into a good spot and and uh, make sure whatever you take off you label it it's really simple uh just label the parts as you put them back on so here we go the idea of fixing it is getting the idler pulley and parts that turn the drum. 90% uh, of the time, that's what's causing this loud piercing noise is the, uh, the pulley parts. So usually uh, you have to take off the top of the dryer and uh, remove the back. So let's assume that you have the dryer out and you're following this video along right now. Yes, much uh, better, Keep actually. track of the screws and label the plug in the outlet so when you rewire them, uh, you put it on the same way. Uh, now if you look at the idler pulley and drum support rollers, these are what will be making the noise. If you turn the drum with your hand, you can probably find the area where the noise is coming from. The roller, get some WD-40 or liquid lubricant while it's open. Uh, just spray them all and uh, oil them all. Those three rollers are the ones we need to oil. Keep going. It's the front roller up there. Look. We're gonna spin this a couple times. We're gonna, try to, we're gonna try to listen for where the squeak is coming from. So I'm turning the drum, my hand. And it sounds like it's coming from the front area here. So if we look inside. Okay, here's, we have this right here, is the, is a pulley, idler, and when I turn that, it turns the drum, and up here, back here, this red thing you'll see, mm -hmm. is also one of the wheels that, that turns as it's spinning here. And that's the one that sounds to me like it's squeaking. Well, I feel like it's also weird. So what we're going to do before we put a brand new one in is we're going to try to spray some WD-40 on it because it's cheaper than buying another one or having to take the rest of this apart. Okay, so we're going to first we're going to we're going to try to get that one and see if that helps. I can't really see as well. Use the camera a little bit. Looks good. It's dripping. It's dripping, but you know what? I'm gonna turn it now. See how it goes. Hmm. Still squeaking. Um, yeah, maybe we should spray the other one over there. You can spray them all. I mean, I'm gonna spray this too. Let's spray this. I won't spray too much. You know, I'm going to spray that one again. You got it really good. I don't think so, I did, did I? Mm. Okay. Oh. No, I got it good. Try again. Now we're spinning it. No squeak. No squeak. <coughs> yeah, that's just me. <laughs> okay. But we are going to spray the rest of them that we can reach. Go ahead. Here, I can't really Oh, wait. you're pretty much on top of it. Okay, that's good. We're going to spray that one too. There's two more on the top, but we're not going to spray them. And, uh... That's good. We didn't need new parts, but we did need this. <laughs>
All right, now let me spin it again. And it's even feeling like it's moving smoother as I spin it. So problem solved. We didn't have to order anything from Amazon. So hopefully this helps everybody out there. And remember the key to it is just to fixing a washer and dryer is taking it apart and uh, just remembering where you plug everything in and, and unscrewed everything. And it's pretty basic stuff, so I'm not a professional or anything, but we just did it with WD-40. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy. We're going to put this back together now. Gotta be quiet, my wife is sleeping.